and getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. The sprawling metropolis of Dallas, Texas is our setting tonight as seen from above. Welcome everyone to Noche and a Beyond. A Latin theme is the backdrop to tonight's festivities. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Craig Anthony and Brent Berry. David Aldrich will join us momentarily from the sidelines. So the opening lineup for the Heat, they've got morning. Hardaway is out there with Dwayne Wade. And it's LeBron James. And it's Bosch in at the four-man position. And for the Mavericks, Finley is out there with Nowitzki. And it's Chandler. Then it's Nash. And it's Doncic in at the shooting guard position. Opening night, Brent, always exciting. Technically, every team is undefeated with uh, a lot you, of hope. You're just fired up. I mean, the off I am fired The up. NBA never stops, Kevin. We I know, know this, right? right? Isn't off it great, though? I'm so oh. glad it doesn't stop. Well, the offseason is, is just absolutely ridiculously so exciting. So fun. So much movement and hope for franchises that, uh, you know, have struggled for a long time. And, and here we go. Hope springs eternal. It's opening night. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Now here's Nowitzki. A terrific shot on the turnaround. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. No, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Wait. The wide open look here for Bosch. It's rebounded by Doncic. Nash against Hardaway. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. LeBron outside. Passes it to Morning. Just five on the clock. Here's Bosch. Kicks it out to LeBron for three. Chandler with the rebound. Tough to hit that shot when the D is all over you like that. Finley the pass to Nash. Nowitzki lefts up. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I did speak with head coach Eric Spolstra. He told me they have to lean on their post game tonight. He wants them to get the ball into the block each time down the floor and pound those guys inside. Sounds like this could be a real physical battle, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. Takes a three. They get it back. Novitsky for three. That shot is off target. That makes him two for three. James finds Hardaway. Now James. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Nash against Hardaway. Let's the three fly. And it's Nash missing. For Miami, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. To the paint, Bosch uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's all knotted up. And Bosch knew he was going into the teeth of the defense. Still finds a way to get it done. Donchich outside. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Wade surveying the D. Down low. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. This is a solid opening quarter right here. Very active and creating a lot of good opportunities for himself. The Heat shooting their first free throw tonight. And 
and that drops, so they now lead by one. And with Bosch, he's got so many tools he can beat you with, so adept at the mid-range shot, and he feels right at home at the free throw line. Now here's Chandler. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Nowitzki lifts up. Over Bosch. That's good from Nowitzki on the assist by Doncic. Here's Hardaway. Kicks to LeBron. And he drops it in from the low post. Well, when covered, LeBron James is one of the best shot makers in the history of the league, especially when he gets that close. Nash, the pass to Chandler. Here's Finley. The pass to Doncic. Pulls up on the elbow. And James pulls it down. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Bosch kicks to Wade. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more careful on defense. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Michael Finley. Bosch against Nowitzki. James looking around. Two on the clock. Elbow shot is on the way. Again, the Heat, good for two. And that's just sweet string music from Chris Bosch. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. They trail by three. Pass to Nash. Inside. Out to Doncic. Three-pointer. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Doncic has got five. And love how much Doncic believes in himself. It shows when he shoots off the pass like that. It's good. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. And it's Nash missing. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. The shot by Wade, no good. I'm not sure where the lack of focus comes in there, Kevin. That's not like him. The defense is close, but there's enough space to score. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. All right, a chance to look at the numbers for Luka Doncic. Great showing for him last season. Averaged 21 points a game, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists. And, guys, he can just explode for points any time he steps on the court. Well, he looks to score, and he looks to score often. Zinkis, he's jacked in for Tyson Chandler. And Bogdanovich picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Here's Hardaway. James outside. Pass to Bosch. Over Nash. Again, the miss by the Heat. The Mavericks trailer. Greg, you look at the young Luka Doncic. What impresses you the most right now about his game? Well, Kevin, you just don't see many players his height who can handle and, and make step back threes. Also, his confidence. He came into the league never doubting that he could dominate a game. And don't forget about his brilliance as a passer. Here's Wade after Luka Doncic's bucket. To the inside, Nowitzki with the steal. Bogdanovich, that's for two. Offensive rebound Mavericks. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Here's Persingis. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. And the Mavericks lead by two. Hardaway passes to James. Passes it to Bosch. Over Bogdanovich. Shots good by Bosch. Bosch has got the game tied up here for Miami. Now that basket must be widening out right now, Kevin. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. 
Back to Nash. Here's the three. Rebound by the Heat. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And the shot is good. Timeout, and that's timeout. 11 points for Chris Bosh. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. That the number of trades now starting to involve stars. It feels like the league's power balance is always shifting to some degree. Yeah, and I think organizations that are trying to stay ahead of the trend, Kevin, might think about, we might have a star for just two years. Mm -hmm. How can we get the next one? Backside of that, Kevin, is a lot of these star players are signing deals that are not extending to four, five, six years. You can't even do that anymore. So you get a guy for a couple years, what he wants to do is maximize his earning potential for one or two seasons, become a free agent again, and then look around the league where opportunities not only to win, but to also cash in. That's what's happening in today's game. And here is Robinson following Porzingis' three. Clock is at three. Bosch. And the dunk by Bosch. CB, such a difficult guy to guard on pick and roll because of his quickness and length. The shot was too easy for him. Here's Terry. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Robinson. Here's Trogic, and he banks in the layup. And now it's a three-point heat lead. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Now the pass to Bogdanovich. To the left side wing. Nowitzki kicks to Bogdanovich. Great D that time from LeBron. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Now here's James. Collins trying to break free. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You got to be careful once LeBron breaks the seal of the free throw line. There's a lot of power and a lot of muscle coming at you. Usually it ends up with free throws. The Heat have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. The first one falls. Well, every night, the competitive killer instinct of LeBron James makes him as elite as he's been. Of course, a future first ballot Hall of Famer and a lot of gas, it seems, left in the tank for LeBron James. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Nowitzki. And Eduardo Nahara is subbed in for Bogdanovich. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. Here's James. That's in coming off an assist from Trogic. And that's now six points for LeBron. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Terry looking over the floor. Will it go? Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And let's take a look here at John Collins. Coming off a terrific season, 13th in rebounding, and a great touch around the rim. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And we talked about how strong he was on the boards, going hard at it at both ends last year, really helping out his team. He's off on the first. One thing that the Heat have done, really, for the last four years, block shots. Well, they've had some very athletic big men. You think of Hassan Whiteside, who's moved on to Portland, and now, bam, out of Bayou. Length on the wings, and, of course, Dwayne Wade being the best shot-blocking two-guard of all time. That's always helped their defense be scrappy and challenge a lot of shots. Good on the second free throw. So for Dallas, their last game, a loss to the Nuggets. Robinson with it. 23 points his last outing. This is his first trip to the line tonight. The first free throw is good. 
And he makes both free throws. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Terry. Stolen by Collins. Dragic with it. And Terry picks him up defensively. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. Yeah, that's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Posey with the rebound. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Now here's Dragic. Posing, no luck. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Berea, that's a two-pointer. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there, Kevin. Too bad he can't release that one on target. I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. To the wing on the left. From deep. A three-pointer is right on target. Correa's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the man. What a performance for Chris Bosh. He has been the story for Miami. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And we'll be back with you shortly. We welcome you back to Noche Latina. Becoming an annual tradition is always here on 2K Sports and always exciting. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Miami, guys. Trail by four. Nash outside. Dallas moving the ball around. Here's Finley. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Yeah, great outside shooting. Really fueling this run. Nash against Hardaway. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Nash against Hardaway. Nowitzki outside. Back to Nash. Shoots. Again, the Mavericks score. Here's Wade. Dishes to LeBron. A drive by Wade. That one drops for him. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Tyson Chandler. He's checked in for Dallas. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Michael Finley. That free throw good from Wade. And Wade just simply one of the best two guards of all time. Nice to just sum it up in one sentence right there. Dynamic all-around talent. He just continues to add to his legacy. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Tyson Chandler. Really can't say enough about just how good Wade is at catching the D off guard and getting himself to the free throw line. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And the first one drops. Olenek is checked in for Udonis Haslam. Both free throws good from Wade. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Now, here's Nash. He's got seven over Hardaway. Shot is good, and the Heat's lead is cut to just one on the basket from Nash. And boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shot's now starting to fall. Oh. 
For Miami, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And looking at last season's numbers, down below 70% as a team from the line. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. The Mavericks have gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. Kicks it out to Nowitzki. Uncovered. Offensive rebound. Chandler's shot. Good. Chandler's got his first bucket in this one. Well, Chandler's being aggressive right now on the glass. Does a terrific job staying active and collecting the rebound. LeBron outside. And stolen by Nowitzki. And here we go. The Mavericks in a fast break. Nash has got the ball. Yeah, easy call. The Mavericks shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. We throw good Nash. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And Nash makes both of them. The Heat trail by three. Now here is Hardaway. With the teardrop, Dirk Nowitzki with the rebound. Now here's Nowitzki. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. Doncic feeling it out. A new 14 for the Mavericks. Chandler trying to free himself up. Dallas again missing. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And the foul called on the Dallas Mavericks. Well, with a body like that, LeBron James can be as physical as he wants to be and just dare you into making contact. Free throw good, James. And the Mavericks making a change here. Rosingas has checked in. Then for the Heat, Wash comes in for Morning. Robinson is subbed in for Hardaway. Both free throws good from James. Dallas has gone an even 50% from three-point range in the second quarter. Four for eight. Doncic outside. Back to Nowitzki. Some solid defense from Robinson. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Look from Bosch. And that's collected by Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his fourth rebound in this one. Robinson against Doncic. A floater. Pat Donovich wide open. No good with the triple. Miami's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Passes to Robinson. To the middle, Bosch. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. 15 points for Chris Bosch. I think the reason Bosch is clicking out there is because of the shots that he's taking. He's as smart as they come. And here's Nash outside. The Heat with the lead. Wade has the open look. Steve Nash pulls it in. And there's the pass to Persingas. Over Olenek. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. He'd have gone 6 of 14 shooting here in the second. And Greg, as many expected, Persingas getting a huge deal from Dallas to keep him a Mav for a long time. Mavs feel he can be better than he was before the injury. Love the idea of pairing him long term with Doncic. Sign him to a lengthy and sizable deal to be the core of their future. That shot wide open. And that's 12 points for Luka Doncic. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Here's Wade. From 13 feet, it goes down. Wade's got it all tied up now for the Heat. Sensational handles from Wade there. He puts the defense on skates, helping him open up the clean look at the basket. Down low. It's tipped. It's stolen by Wade. And here we go. Fast break. Wade's got it. 
Robinson against Doncic. Now James, eight points for him. Just five to shoot. Goes up on the high post. Bosch and Bosch able to finish. Bosch has got four points now in the quarter. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now here's Porzingis. He has five. Well, the closer Porzingis gets to the basket, the more aggressive he becomes. And for good reason, he's going to get fouled. It's his first trip to the line. That free throw good from Porzingis. Well, Porzingis in the early part of his career has had some phenomenal first halves of seasons. In the second half has faded. You really just want to see a complete year from Kristaps Porzingis where he can dominate. Mavericks making a switch here. Boreas checked in. And then for Miami, Bam Adebayo is checked in for Kelly Olynyk, And it's Drogic in for Dwayne Wade. Now here's Bogdanovich after the miss from Goran Drogic. Berea against Dragic. Nowitzki outside. Pass to Doncic. That drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Doncic has got 14 points. And certainly not lacking in confidence. When Doncic gets these inside looks, he just jumps all over. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's Dallas up two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Goran. How would you say you guys have done in the first half? I mean, you know, we are battling, uh, we as a team, and if we're going to play like that, um, I think so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be okay. We'll see what happens in the second half. Thanks, Goran. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Luka Doncic has been the story in this one. He had 14 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Dallas played? Well, there was a big spark from the bench in the first half. Sometimes you're hoping for your reserves to come in and just hold court, but they didn't do that. They actually got better. And Shaq, your thoughts on the heat? The way they were getting rain on from three, they're lucky to still be in this. In some cases, it was shooters making contested shots, but in others, it was defenders leaving shooters wide open. You can't do that. Bottom line, their perimeter defense was lax, and that needs to change, and that's a fact. Oh, oh, oh it's rhyming, man. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Chris Bosh in this game. I mean, he, he's been everywhere. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Here's who Eric Spolster is starting the second half with. Chris Bosh is out there with Morning. Then there's Hardaway. Then there's Dwayne Wade. And it's LeBron in at the three. Doncic against Wade. There's the three. Doncic, no good. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. To the paint. And then Bosch with the jam. This is terrific basketball from Wade there to thread the pass to the wide open man for the clean look.
Hardaway against Nash. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Pass to Doncic. Five to shoot. Let's it go with a three. And you got to admire how hard Morning goes at it on defense. When he's around, shooters tend to tense up. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That'll be his second foul of the game. Doncic against Wade with one second left. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And here's Chandler who brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Dallas, no good that time either. Well, he got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. Here's James. A basket good off the assist from Wade. Wade's got his fifth assist in this one. Uh, defensively, that's what you're trying to prevent, and LeBron James is too good. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 14. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. First free throw is good. No good on the second free throw. Mavericks trail by three. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Chandler, the pass to Finley. Six to shoot. Doncic with it. Wade picks him up. And Doncic gets it to go. Doncic has got 16. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Now here's Bosch. Here's James, 11 points in the game. Another shot, Chandler with the steal. Here's Finley, Wade is covering. Nash with no one around, sinks the triple. He's got 14. And the jump shot of Nash, poetry in motion, a super efficient shooter from downtown. Here's Wade. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Dallas timeout, calls timeout. timeout. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. The well, coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. They've got Novitsky. Nash is out there with Luka Doncic. And there's Porzingis. And it's Finley in at the three, the small forward. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. The Heat trail by 11. Hardaway kicks to Wade. That's down the hatch. Knocks one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. You can't allow Dwayne Wade to slash his way to the rim. That is where he is at his very best. 
and Doncic. Here we go. And it's sent back by Bosch. Here's Wade, and it's Wade with the jam. As soon as Wade saw the lane to the basket, you knew he was going to get his steps together for the dunk. Excellent play there. Nash outside. Pass to Doncic. From about 16, Bosch grabs the miss. Bosch has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's James. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Confidence and LeBron James go together. Knows when to float the jumper off. That time, great touch. Nash kicks to Finley. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Dallas making a switch here. Chandler's checked in. Hardaway passes to James. Here's Bosch. He's off on that one. Good work defensively by Nowitzki. Nash against Hardaway. Nash dishes to Nowitzki. A three ball. Miami grabs the miss. Morning's got six rebounds now in the game. And the dunk by James. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this. One. Finally got them. in the trenches. Momentum completely shifted now. We've got a tight one here in the final period. Dallas calls timeout. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldrin. Hey, Kevin, I heard Rick Carlisle during that last break talking with the team. With this game in the balance, he really came after his guys. He said, this is our time. Right now, be in the moment with each other. Do your job, and I promise you, we'll win this game. Back to you. Nash's shot is in. He has been an absolute wrecking ball from outside during this half, guys. The Heat trail by six. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Wade. Out to Hardaway, out of bounds. Dallas will take possession. Yeah, that's a tough one, Kev. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. Nash against Hardaway. Here's Chandler and the dunk by Chandler. Yeah, Chandler doesn't have a long way to go, but he gets up for that one. Here's Hardaway. LeBron outside. Back to Hardaway. The three. Here's Morning. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the basket. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Mavericks leading by six. Passes it to Nowitzki. Back to Nash. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Wade. There's the pass to LeBron. 18 feet out and right on target. Good. James has got 21 in the game. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Pass to Nowitzki. Al Finley. Five on the clock. Nash, the pass to Chandler. Here's Finley. Poked away. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. 
James finds Wade. Basket counts. Wade's got six points in the quarter. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And Doncic gets it to go. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Bye. Yes, and the foul. Dirk Nowitzki picks up that. You just can't forget how long Chris Bosh is, even when he gets whacked, still able to get it to fall. Dallas has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Nash, the pass to Nowitzki. Chandler trying to free himself up. He can't hit that time. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. But they'll get another chance. Nash, the pass to Chandler, and Chandler throws it down. And he's stroking it well, but he just hasn't shown the aggressiveness that they need out of him. Probably in front by more if he was taking more shots. Wade gets the bucket. Yeah, everything falling for Wade right now. It's got to be in his team's best interest to keep finding him. Pass to Nash. The rebound by Alonzo Mourning. And once he had to change his shot in the face of the D, you, you just had a feeling that one wasn't going to fall. Hardaway, no good. The Mavericks trail it. But Trey trains it from beyond the arc. Nash has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the man. And when he gets it going, this is what can happen. They need to think about the double team now. James in the post, defended by Nowitzki, and the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. has gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Floats one up. It's hauled in by the Heat. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Let's a floater go, and it's Wade getting it to go. Now it's a four-point Heat lead. He has been so big here in the fourth quarter. Five of six from the field. Hardaway with the steal. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. Nash kicks to Nowitzki. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assists. Nash has got his sixth assist on the night. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. And he can't get the first one. He 
He hits the second from the line. Well, they should be looking at a three-point lead. Hopefully for them, that miss won't cost them. Lead against Doncic. From outside the arc, another three for Dallas. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's Wade. Outside Hardaway. Miami no good on that time either. Now here's Nowitzki. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They lead by one, and he makes that one. Nowitzki's got 12 points in just the second half. And how about the vision there from Doncic? Can make the easy pass and also the difficult. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Here's Finley. He feeds it to Doncic. Nowitzki gets a wide open look. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got six assists now in the game. LeBron outside. To the paint. Looks for Morning. Gets it to him. Over Chandler. Yep, it goes. And the Dallas lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Morning. Yeah, crucial basket there. And as long as they've got that mismatch, big on small, they've got to take advantage. The more that you level up in the game of basketball, it becomes about the matchups, identifying the weakest link, and then exploiting it. Now Hardaway, following the miss by Nash from deep, and then Bosch with the jam. Not sure how many times Bosch has to prove it, but in tight games, this is the guy you go to, comes through with a huge basket. Doncic against Wade, they double him with LeBron. Launches a three, and it's Doncic. That time on the assist by Nowitzki. 24 points for Luka Doncic. The Heat trail by three. Lead with it. Pass to Bosch. Kicks to Morning. And Chandler sends it back. Chandler takes his defense seriously. That's what he gets paid for, utilizing his outstanding length to stifle shooters. Stolen by Wade. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. Dirk Nowitzki picks up that. In a game this close, this late, that right. kind of D is clutch. It is. And then, Greg, to go in for the flush. That could be a backbreaker. Well, we'll see how the other side responds here. They have to come up big. That free throw good from Box. And he's the one person that the coaching staff and the teammates love to see at the line in a tight ball game. You can pretty much bank on these. Out left to the wing. Shot from 16. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Hard to corral Chris Bosch given his length. It's a little bit sneaky, and he knows how to exploit defenses when given the chance. First free throw is good, and that gives them the lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. Yeah, critical that he's able to convert there. Now they've taken the lead. Inside. Plays it up and banks it in. 23 points for Dirk Nowitzki. And Nowitzki is a lethal scorer. Feels like he can knock down any shot on the court. And here is LeBron. Bosch kicks to Wade. Shot clock at five. Wade, double team. Hardaway with a wide open look. Kept alive. Here's Morning. It's in! Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a knock. Dallas calls timeout. They're trailing by two. 
time here. If they shoot quickly to get the two for one, we'll, we'll see if they try. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Dwayne Wade. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. For the Mavericks. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Down low. It counts! Well, Dwayne Wade's such a calming influence, but huge amounts of trust in these moments. No time to waste on this possession. Time is not on their side right now. They're aware. Dallas calls timeout. They're down by four. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Doncic. It drops. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Huge free throws. Bumps the lead up to three, and now they simply have to guard against the three ball. Nash dishes to Doncic. Misses the three. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. That ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those freebies. Frames it from downtown. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And the Heat call time here. They're ahead by two. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Now here's Nash. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Goran, nice win tonight. What was working for you out there? Uh, you know, we, we are as a team, so we play as a team. We are fighting back, and... We are just solid in defense, uh, make some easy basket in transition, and in the end, we won that game. Yeah, the fast break was really rolling tonight, and it got you a win. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harley thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.